Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I am good. Uh, how old are you? I'm 35. All right. So what are we talking about tonight? Uh, is there any hope left? The black didn't care about their image. What are we doing? Um, I, I, this is a rumor. Uh, I'm sorry. Or just general disagreement. What do we got? I mean, I can go with the image thing. Um, I don't, I don't believe that we do control any of. Really? No, I don't. I don't because if, but I, I put it to you like this: the women who are the woman that that just left. She doesn't represent me as a black woman. Sure, she does. No, she doesn't. How does she represent? She has nothing to do with me. I don't know anyone like her. Excuse me. Excuse me. Because there's something called an ethnic image. And that's what it is, is that it is a, she is a microcosm of everything. If I told you five foot six and knows martial arts, you wouldn't think an African. You would think Chinese. There's an ethnic image. And the ethnic image of a black woman is the, is the sapphire, the the nail card, the give me a break, the the short, fat, sassy, strong, independent. That's the ethnic image. And the part that you said you don't control the media, well, um, what is Ebony Essence, Madame Noir, Grapevine, um, Fox, um, black women don't own any of those things. Well, excuse me. But who's running? Who owns them and who runs them? Who's sitting up? Okay, who's sitting, no, 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 no. See, what you're going to try to do is play the ownership game. Who is sitting? Who is sitting in the chairs on these programs? It's white executives who make the decision. Is like kryptonite. I'm sorry. Accountability is like kryptonite. I, I have no problem taking accountability for anything that I do. I can speak for myself. Well, the but, thing is, when I think we're not just speaking about you, because if you speak about you, you can deflect for anything. I said black female image, not you. But you, but you, you brought up accountability, and yeah. and I'm not, I'm not crediting or taking away anything from what we do and what we perpetuate. But it's also the image that we are shown that no, we have it, no it, it's not, No, it's not show. If okay. It's probably no, 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 for Sandra Rhymes. Why well, okay. you know, she wrote Scandal? The black she wrote scandal, but it had to get thrown her away. No, 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 no. They're gonna do whatever makes money. They're gonna do what they're gonna, and the fact of it, but, but who they write it for and who consumed it? They are the black. Who they write it for and who consumed it? But listen to me. Black, they're, black, black, they're, they're not trying to put the black no. Only they what? This we already covered. First off, no, over top to you won't work. Okay. That won't work. Because you're, but you're throwing a something that won't here. work. That won't that, work here. That won't work here. Okay, sir. That's one thing that won't work. We can try to have a conversation, but you cannot over talk me. I, I allow that with no one. You didn't answer my question, and you're going on to another point. That's not okay. I asked you, who is it written for? Sandra Rice, hey, Scandal, Love and Hip Hop, all these things. Who are they looking for? Who are they what audience? For the black audience. Wait. Okay. But again, if we are not choosing what goes on the air, because they're not finding all content for black people, it's a certain type of content for black people that they want to show and they want to perpetuate. And then we are watching because it's programming and we are following. I come from the industry and I will tell you that I come from the advertising and marketing. So let me That's tell you, fine. if people did, if black people did not consume that product, they would not put it out there. There's a market for it. Why is it? But it's all, they're all, oh, no, 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 no. I have a lot of response. Cause see, I come from the sales world and I also come from the advertising and marketing. See, the bottom line is this. At 30, what, five years old? Is that what you said, 35? Yeah. There was a movie called Hol uh, The Hollywood Shuffle, written by, who was it? Not Tommy Davidson. Uh, the guy that wrote Five Harbings, Robert Towns. And the whole premise of the movie was a bunch of black stereotypes. He was mocking black exploitation films of the 70s. And that's the same argument the black people made in the 70s. These are all the roles we have as pips and maids and this and that. The whole premise of that movie was you 
if that's the only roles that are available, then we don't do them because there's always work at the post office. Robert Townsend made that movie in 1989 and stands to this day. If that's all that's written, we don't do the work. But the fact that we're willing to do the work makes us culpable because there's always work at the post office. Can I, can I speak now? Is that true or false? Yes, that is true. And I'm not arguing that. What I'm saying is, if we don't control what the image is that goes out, because we know since the beginning of time that we white control it because we take the roles. There are certain people that are going to want certain things. So you're going to find everybody has a price. So certain people are going to not, not really to protect. Not really. Bill, why don't you see? Why don't you see typical black? Why don't you typically see white A-list celebrity men having to be put in dresses? Because it's a different standard because they run it. No, it's because they won't do it. So, so you're saying that the white supremacist... I'm saying... I, let me explain something to you. Very similar as an image consultant. That's what I do for a living. I'm a professional image consultant. Let me say this very clearly to you and to every other woman. How you leave your house is me. If you go from your door to wherever you're going, that is the world of TV. And if you won't walk, if you were walking out with long fingernails, purple hair, and all this other kind of stuff, they could not make it work. And even if they did try to make it work, if they tried to go get Latinas or somebody else and dress them up like black women and make them look like stereotypical black women back in the 60s, when we didn't dress that way, they couldn't do that shit to us because we came out of our house looking better. That's why the civil rights movement worked because they could not paint us as criminals and drug dealers and when we were on the Edmund Pettus Bridge on Black Sunday, you saw church-going people getting abused. That's why middle white America stood up and said, those people look like me. But if they'd have been walking around, dressed around like we look today, nobody would have batted it up. How do you think we got here today, though? If the, because if we do it. Right it's self-accountability. Right it's self-accountability. How many of you are Hold on. Hold on. I'm for your sister to show up to this broadcast. Right here with bonnets on her head. Okay, sir, but I, I didn't. I didn't and say you. So that cannot be the argument. That cannot be the deflection. We talk about no, topic on the rule. You talk you're about you. You're deflecting because every time you you sat here and you have said to me, you 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 gave me a list of the things that you've done. You have said to me all of your points, and every time I go to talk, you either cut me off or you say I'm deflecting. What I'm saying to you is. Every black, every person that you've had on the show does not account for every black woman. I did not. Did I say it does? What do you think you're doing? Like, what do you think you're doing right now? What do you think you're doing right now? What do you think you're doing right now? Okay, I'm trying to speak. What do you think you're doing right? Do you think? Do you think? What, what do you think this is doing for the FM and to black women? What are you? I'm trying. I'm showing you something different. What you're saying? No, you're really black not. Women, how, sir, you won't even let me finish my point though. I can. You're saying we were having a conversation. You gave me your talking points. I allowed you to speak. You said I was over talking you. I shut up and I allowed you to talk. Now I'm trying to say my point to to counter what you were saying, and you're not allowing me to talk because you're talking over me. So I'm asking if you can give me the same respect that I just gave you, sir. That would be much appreciated. So back to the point of the imagery. There are. 8 billion people on this planet and there are certain people that are going to go, there are certain demographics that they shoot for and they want to keep in that place. Them be white people, white execs who run these stations who say these are the roles that we have for black people. In order to get to a certain standard as a black man, you have to do A, B, C, and D. Otherwise, because there's a ton of actors who are amazing actors who didn't get anywhere because they wouldn't do, they wouldn't fall in line. Same with black women, the image of black women. I am not included. I am nothing like that girl. I'm an educated black woman. I was married in my 20s. I have three children. I 30 seconds. Okay. Well, either way, I'm showing you that there is something different, is all. Mm -hmm. That's and, it. And, and what you just went on for two and a half minutes was the very image that black women have been perpetuated for the longest and i just let it go the angry black woman or and the now you just cut me off you just cut me off now sorry i can see that whole thing no 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 you're not, not, not first off you're not controlling you're not controlling anything 
Because you're not in control of anything. You're not in control of anything. I let you. Think, I, I just wait for two and a half minutes. But see, what I'm just showing you is all this masculine, aggressive energy. There's a way to get your point across and still be a lady, feminine. It's masculine energy because I'm. I'm but, well, and I will let the audience decide, ladies and gentlemen. When you saw her going off for two and a half minutes and this and this, this is that the image you think that's helping black? Were you paying attention to anything I went on for two. You, see what you're going to do is let me speak, or I'm going to bid you a good. No, well, we can we can say good night. Good night. Well, you can say good night. I'm still gonna say what I got to say. But this yeah, yeah, might want to. There you will. I will be the wrong one. I'm not trying to get my there. Say what you want. Which you you no different than the rest. And that's the point. The educated of them still think that they're better. No, ma'am, you are the problem, too. Because all that bull that you ran down, the whiting sake, can this submit? Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry built a billion dollar film industry, still on tropes about black people. Spike Lee. Spike Lee didn't have to play the tropes, he played against the tropes. See, accountability is like kryptonite. And I'm not like these women. Oh, yes, you are. There is no other group of women that identifies with what you just saw other than African-American women. Click, 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 click. And I just let her go. Because see, what she thought she was doing when she was checking me, I'm just sitting there reeling her in. I'm like, I'll let you go. I'll let you keep digging and digging and digging. And when they got right now to it, she ran out of steam because there was all emotion, no logic, no accountability. It ain't our fault. It is our fault. Don't take the roles. Chinese Asian people stopped taking the roles of coolies and all that stuff, and they started making their own films or rejecting the films. But the notion that there's always somebody that will do it, it's still our responsibility. This is why men should be in control because all that emotion gets nothing. So thank you for proving the point even more. Never her fault. Never her fault. It's always somebody else, the man. All that masculine energy. What do you mean all this masculine energy? That's femininity? Loud, aggressive. And if you don't think that's what she's like in real life, you can't make people. You can't make this. You're over talking me and this and that. See, only black women more than any other group of women, you, they will fight you for control. And don't even realize that being pushed. Remember, I made a video. I made a video about a year and a half ago. You want to see if a black woman or a woman is really feminine? Bark at her and see what happens. And I, and I took my video camera out and I showed me just barking at somebody. And the funny thing is, there was a woman backing out to a car, and I said, Damn, we were going to back in there like this? What you be? And this one was all about this tall and this big. The first thing she wanted to do is jump up like she could whoop my ass. Their first instinct is to fight. Who does not think that miseducated with the pink fingernails and the smoker's lips was just, you think you're not the same part, parcel? She does not speak for you. Y'all are one and the same. The ethnic image. Loud, aggressive, can't listen to nobody. Who are you helping? And the difference is black men have done the part. Black men are doing their part to separate themselves, get themselves up to speed. Where are the women who are going to push back against this image? Because I don't like it. Where are the women that are going to do their part to push back against this image? Because, yes, the image of the loud, masculine, aggressive, sapphire black woman is the image. It's the image that's been pushed in white media. It's the image that black folks love and show me the love in hip hop. Atlanta, Miami, New Orleans, blah, blah, blah. Show that equivalent for white people, Hispanic people, Asian people. The whole time she was clutching pearl, looking for a fight, not a conversation. That's what I'm saying. So, so what are you saying? So anger and a woman refi refines ghetto? You mean defies ghetto? Uh, no, anger. Anger is not a province for women. Why are you so angry about something? 
if you say it's not your image, if you say that's not your image, then coming onto a street with being angry and co an argumentative confrontation or masculine is not the way to disprove that point. You guys got to be kidding me. Then you get upset when somebody calls you, when somebody just says, hey, is this what it is? Well, our images, our images controlled by the white men. 